Now, if you want to hang around, let's chat. And uh, I'll go over some of your questions. That's it. So let's see. Uh, huh. Sharding is where it's at. Sharding is where it's at. What's good? Nothing really is good. I'm just tired. It was a long trip. Yes, nice new green screen. Glad you guys like it. API 3 is Chainlink 2.0. Maybe. Like I said, there's not that many oracles I know about, so there's probably more room for them. <laughs> Just bought Theta and T Fuel. I heard, or, I heard an information that uh, Theta was uh, going to be listed on Coinbase. I don't know if that's true. That'd be great. I had to go through some backwater, dangerous uh, <laughs> exchanges to get Theta back in. Well, it wasn't that dangerous, but it was a real pain in the A. <laughs> Michael says, Rob sounds like he's applying for a job with New Ruler. Just because I say that CBDCs are coming and they're inevitable, they are. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's like death. Death is inevitable, right? It's how you prepare for it and deal with it. CBDCs are inevitable. It's how you prepare and deal with it. Get off your soap box. Your soap box, Michael Dezitti. It's okay. It's going to be all right. You'll be fine when the CBDCs come. I'm just saying. They're going to happen. I mean, you don't hate on me. I'm just telling you the truth. Let's see. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Namim. Hello, Meme. Hello from Minnesota. Yeah, Arbitrum DAO is a joke. They let themselves into a free grant. So this is going back and forth. I was going to cover that today, but it's um, there's a lot of uncertainties on this one. They sent out, they, they, they put out a, a post about why they did things and how they're you know, funding the ecosystem. And some people are saying, no, you're not funding the ecosystem. You're putting all the money into and just uh, selling all your Arbitrum. Look, you got to pay the bills. So we'll see how it all unfolds. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm getting to the point in my life where I don't, I just sit back and wait for the real story to come out. Let's see. Everybody, everybody hates a pragmatist. This is true. Yeah, Darcy's right. CBD is inevitable because the masses sleepwalk into think it's going to look. How many people do you talk to that know about Bitcoin? How many people, most do, let's be honest. How many people do you talk about, how many people do you talk to and they know about Avalanche or Cardano or AMP or XRP or whatever? Very few. And uh, the problem, there's my dynamic green screen dog walking through. And the problem is, is that when CBDCs come, People are going to say, wow, this is pretty cool because, you know, I don't have to wait for things. There's this thing called Fed now and I can get paid instantaneously. This will be great. And they'll just say, this is awesome. And it's, it's cool until it isn't. So the people will get their wallet from whatever, if the banks give them the wallet or the government gives them a wallet on their phones and they get their CBDCs and they're able to transact, they're super happy. But then all of a sudden things get turned off or things get delayed, or something happens, and you're like, well, how can I get paid? I got to pay for my rent. Oh, sorry, there's something with that uh, we, we deemed unnecessary. Also, we think that uh, you may be, <laughs> you owe us in taxes, we'll say, right? Or you're a terrorist, or I mean, some, whatever you can think of, right? Let's just go with the, with the IRS thing. You owe us in the IRS, so we're going to stop your, your CBDC and transactions right now until you pay, pay it all off. Okay, so now what happens? Well, now you got people going on to Twitter and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and complaining that the government shut them down, they can't use it, and they should watch out, and da-da-da-da. And then people will ignore that because they're lemmings. And it won't hit home until they know somebody where it happens to. But it'll keep happening. It'll keep happening. 
just like these these bank collapses and things like that. They'll keep happening. And then people will eventually go, you know what? I don't know what's going on with this, but I'll probably have to hedge my bet. And the smart ones will go, I want to get out of here. And they'll get into uh, crypto assets and digital crypto assets. Yeah. Crypto stash is awesome. He is great. Tremendous mustache. Yes. Yes. A lot of this is right. CBDC is a gateway drug for crypto. Look, once they get into it and they're like, oh, this is an, a wallet that I have on my phone, what's to stop them from using the Lightning Network or the MetaMask wallet or name your wallet that they use right now? Very simple, right? That's why like, I am excited to talk to Tyler about Flexa because Flexa is going to be able to use, because he even talked about this. He goes, well, with the Fed now integration and CBDCs and things like that, he goes, We'll just integrate with all those, those inputs, just like we integrate with the US dollar and with Bitcoin and 99 other different cryptos. And when you go to a place where you have to pay something, it'll just go through Flex and it'll converge it. Oh, you wanna pay in CBDCs? Great, well, it's gonna go to me in Bitcoin. Or you wanna, you wanna pay in dollars? That's great, it's gonna go to me in XRP or whatever it is. So I think that's the future. And you know what would be even cooler is if, you know those those like, royalty points and uh, rewards programs that you have, those useless things that you just forget about. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could take those and just like like scrounge them all up like the pennies in your couch and just go, okay, here's, okay, I found all these points and I'm gonna convert them into uh, Bitcoin or dollars. I'm gonna pay you for a donut or whatever you're buying. I think that'd be awesome because I have a bunch of useless reward points I never get to use. And if I could pull those in and pull them out there, and I could pay for whatever it is, that'd be great. That'd be great for, first of all, me, which that's what I'm looking out for. And second of all, it'd be great for the people who offer those reward points. Like, hey, I get to, the more I use it, the more I can actually, the more I actually use your product, I can get these reward points and buy something else. I think it's like a win-win. There's my, there's my still box. <laughs> Looks like there's an NPC in the green screen, yeah. All S coins be easily controlled? Nah, it depends on your definition of an S coin. Ooh, Vero Beach, very nice. Now, now this, this pool, look, I've lived here for 18 years. Yeah, so this is just, you know, buying early, really <laughs> what this is. Buying early and not wasting and building companies and trying to make things work and that's it. I know, right? This is Triple X says, if a great depression hits us, what financial steps would you take? Would you go hard on metals or it's a great question. So this is why I'm always talking about Like some people always say, you know, they say concentration of, when you concentrate your investment, that's what builds wealth. And when you wanna sustain wealth, you diversify. I don't really know, right? Like how many people do you know that heard that phrase and they concentrated their wealth in Luna? You know, so that's not a really good advice. I mean, you can, you can diversify in digital assets. You can diversify in real estate. You can diversify in businesses. You can diversify in metals and stocks and everything else. So like, this is me. So if a Great Depression hits us, first of all, that's why I like real estate. Real estate that is paid for already. Because even if I don't do short-term rentals, people are still need a place to stay. And if they can't, if they can't buy that, the place, which I don't like to sell my properties anyhow, they're gonna need a long-term rental. So probably real, more real estate. And then metals, I don't have it here, but I need to put that in. I'm actually like getting, I'm, I think I'm moving up to like one to 2% of gold and silver now. I've been buying a little bit of it because that seems realistic. Cash, I still got a lot of that. I've got some stables, I got some DGEN plays, masterworks, fractionalized shares of art, real estate, Amazon business, <clears throat> which I'm gonna sell actually. Can't wait for that. Staking, crypto IRA, and stocks. So that's just how I see things. Just a little diversification. 
And you, you're welcome to do whatever you want to. Maybe you want to put everything in a Dogecoin. That's fine. I can't tell you what to do. But I wouldn't do it. Let's see. Crypto Essentials. Thanks, Bicky. Oh, and there's another thing I was going to talk about. Um, there's this website that Bicky just told you about. Dan teaches crypto. I'm going to give some very special offers to everybody who signs up. Dan teaches crypto is a free website. So if you haven't signed up, I don't see why not. I don't even... Use your, the only time I email you is when I have an update and that's it. And that's not too often. And I, I'll, I will send you an email once a week just to see uh, like, like a recap of the week. But that's about it. But the people that are in there now, uh, within the next week or so, I'm going to give them a pretty great offer. And what we're going to do is, um, how do I say this? Uh, there's going to be a a community built, well, it's already built, but the offer will be for, I like I won't tell you, I won't talk about it on YouTube or Twitter or anything like that. I'll only talk about it to the, my, you know, the people who sign up for the website. And the reason is because if I talk about here on YouTube, and I stay specifics, then that attracts scammers and spammers and everything else. So I would, uh, I would like you to sign up. That would be great. And my website, it's very simple, actually. <laughs> uh, looks like this. There's this big orange button. It says start learning. It says sign up. And then you just sign up. And then let me log in. And I just go over like, it's like the simple things, like the basics, what makes Bitcoin great, easy way to understand Bitcoin, why blockchain, just basic, basic, big inflation, how that works. And then, bah, 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 bah. Ah, next module. Safety, how to use a ledger the right way. Very simple stuff, right? And then I think everybody's favorite, uh, investing. Ah, look at that. There's Chewy, my man. <sighs> when I, when and why I'm selling all my 80% of my crypto, why can you buy investor mindset with uh, the mooch, stuff like that. And then we go into metaverse and whatever else. So yeah, and that's it. Uncle Ricky, Rob, what lighting network would you recommend? I've got it here. Steven, it's a taste of uh, San Juan Smokehouse, I think, told me about this one. Crypto. Just Strike. Strike. I've used it before. It's good. Frank the Tank, you in El Paso. I am in El Paso. Yes. Thank you, dude. Did your PC ever get wet to the clue? No, it's just, I just keep this green screen far away. I'm good. Crypto Ox is physical metals or paper metals. I don't see the point of paper metals. What's that gonna do for you? So physical. Generation of wealth for your pup. That's right. Vicky signed up. That's good to know. <laughs> Don't the SEC or the SEC own a quarter of Doge? <laughs> that was that was a great. There's a video from from Guy, and uh, if you go to Coin, I think it's on Coin Bureau Clips, and it was like this like uh, breaking news thing where he said, "You're not going to believe this, but the SEC owns has the the largest Dogecoin wallets in existence, and we just found this out from a leaked blah blah blah." And of course, that was yesterday, so it was April Fool's Day. It was pretty good. It got me pretty, and everybody's like, ah, that's a good one. And that was pretty funny. Uh, yes, Ricky, read the newsletter. I only send a newsletter like once a week. 
Did you fall for any good, Dave Fools? Yes, the guy one got me. Son of a gun. All right, Senator Warren heard from me. Thanks for sharing the link. So, yeah, Elizabeth Warren, I just, there was a video we did about, uh, about her and her trying to come for uh, building a crypto or a crypto army to work against crypto. And I just said, you need to send her information about why crypto is so great. And that's it. Yeah, for a good hour, I, let, I heard it too. Yeah, a very young Robin. That was only two years ago, I don't mind you. I age fast, man. In two more years, I'll look like Gary Gensler. Yeah, bullish news, Marky. Marky, it's been a long time. Uh, I think that's it. I think we're good. Thanks, Big Win. How is Masterworks treating you today still? I mean, pretty fine, Masterworks, but I bought two, I bought a Banksy and a Basquiat, fractionalized shares, and I'm just waiting. I don't know if it's gonna sell this year or three years from now, but I'll sell at some point. So that's it. All right, everybody. So look, that's all the questions. So everybody, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate. I'm just rambling on at the end. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. It is Sunday, so get out, go outside. Beautiful day, hopefully, where you're at, but that is all. So like today's video, thumbs up, like, all that good stuff, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Adios.